Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope that you're having a great day today, that you all had a great week, and that you all are well. Okay, guys, I have an update on Donnie really quick and an update on Colleen for you. So, here we go with the update on Donnie. He is hoping he gets out later today. He has dialysis this morning. He, they were hoping he would have dialysis after he got his stent done yesterday, but they moved it to today. Um, but he's hoping he's out later today. I did see a picture of him, and he was thumbs up. So he looked good. He was sitting on the edge of the bed, and, you know, so he looked good. He looked like he's ready to get out. Um, definitely, we need to pray for his recovery. Um, and for Colleen. She has an infection. The cyst under her arm is infected, so she's on antibiotics. We need to pray that those antibiotics work. That it takes the infection away quickly and in a timely manner. And then, later on in this video, we are going to do a special prayer for someone. Um, we are going to do a special prayer for Tammy later on. Um, I'll explain later on in the video why we're doing that. But um, you'll hear me pray for her anyway, but we're going to do a special prayer for her um, because she's having a test today. So I want to do a special prayer for her later on. Like before we end the video, somebody needs to, yeah, we need to pray for her. So yeah, I'm just like today, but anyway, let's pray guys, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you, and we come boldly before you with our requests, Lord. It, it we just we just know, Father, that we can come before you, and we can become we can come for, before you boldly, and ask anything in your name, Lord. And we know we can. So, Lord, we are first praying for Donnie. Lord, I pray for Donnie. I pray as he is still in the hospital that we thank you and we praise you that his stent angioplasty went so well yesterday that the procedure went well and that he is on the mend and that he is getting better and that we just pray that you will give him a quick and speedy recovery and lord as he is in dialysis today that you will just be with him in dialysis that he will feel good once he's done with dialysis and that they will send him home that lord that he will come home today we are praying for that in jesus name and we are also praying lord for bob as he is in the hospital i pray that you'll be with him that you'll be in the hospital room with him. That you'll be with his doctors. Give the doctors the wisdom as to know what to do for him. So that <coughs> he will be as good as new when he goes back to the home. And Lord, I just pray now that you will just be with, with Colleen as she has an infection under her arm. I just pray, Father God, that you'll be with that. That you will touch and heal that cyst. That you will take that infection away. That these antibiotics will work for her in Jesus' name. And Lord, we do pray for strength and energy for her. As she is so tired still, I just pray that you'll be with her. And I pray, Father God, that you'll be with Anne Marie as well. With her chronic fatigue and her muscle pain. Give her your strength, your energy. I just pray, Father God, as she, she even said this morning that she was tired. I just pray that you will give her your strength and your energy today in Jesus' name. And for... For Noah, we pray that you will touch and heal him, his pinched nerve in his neck. In Jesus' name, take the pain away. It's no fun. And Lord, you know I feel his pain. So I just pray that you will touch and heal him today. That you will just take that away. That Lord, that before he even sees a doctor for it, that you will take that away in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are praying that you will be with A.D. as she is as she is um, going for an internship at the church, I just pray, Father God, that, that that internship, that she will get it and it will go smoothly and that it will lead maybe to a permanent job, a ministry at the church for her in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will be with Patricia. I pray, Father God, for Patricia's unspoken need. I pray, Father God, that you will just be with her today, that you will meet that unspoken need, that you will, that you will meet it. You know what it is. We don't, but you do. And Lord, I just pray that you will be with her, that you will meet that need. And Father, I do pray for her pain, that you will take any pain that she still has away and that you will bless her today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I am praying for Dorothy's daughter. Lord, I think of Dorothy's daughter as she is going through so much. 
I just pray, Father God, that you'll be with her today, that you will lead her through it, that you will walk her through it, that you will be there for her through it, and that, Father, you will give Dorothy and her husband the wisdom as to know exactly what to do, exactly how to be there for her, exactly what you want them to do, Lord, as we do not know what she's going through, but you do, and you can solve any problem. So I pray that you will just be there with that family today in Jesus name and you will help them get through this Lord I do pray now for for Becca I pray Father God for sweet Becca that you will be with her that you will just touch and heal her fibromyalgia and her arthritis pain today that you will take it away in Jesus name we are claiming her healing by your stripes she is healed in Jesus name and for Jessica we are claiming Jessica's healing in Jesus name from seizures and asthma and all her health problems Lord we are just we are just claiming her healing in Jesus mighty and holy name that all will that she will be healed and father i am praying now for my sweet sister and my sweet forever sister and best friend susie i just pray father god for her knee hip and back pain i just pray that you will touch and heal that knee hip and back pain in jesus name and that father that that you will just be with be with her knees right now as they are hurting her i just touch my knees and I stand in the gap for her in Jesus name that you will just touch and heal her today that by your stripes her knees shall be healed and will feel good and for Shauna Lord she just had surgery I just pray that you'll be with Shauna today that you will just bless her today that you will give her your strength your energy that father as she has had had endometriosis and that father that they have removed it but Lord I just pray that it will never come back that as it has been removed, it will stay removed in Jesus' name. That it will not come back to Shauna. That she will not have that horrible pain. That, that she will not have the bleeding. That nothing. That everything will be completely healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray that you will be with, with Kira today. That Father, as she is asking you to build her faith each and every day as she wakes up. As she gets out of bed and as she starts her day. That that will be the start of another another faith building day that she will see you that she will see the hope that she has in you the future she has in you lord in jesus name and lord i do pray that you will make her a blessing as she wants to be a blessing to others that you will send those that she can bless her way in jesus name and lord we do pray for laura's family member that you will touch and heal laura's family member today that lord that that family member needs to be healed in Jesus' name, that by your stripes they will be healed. And Lord, as this family member desires to go back on the mission field, I just pray that you will open up the door, the right door for the right mission field, and that you will make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way for them to go on the mission field and that they will be a blessing to others and that many will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior as a result of their faithfulness to you and their obedience to you. In Jesus name and Lord we are also praying now for Lori I pray that you will continue to strengthen Lori that you will continue to bless Lori that you will just that the cancer will just stay away for good we are just praying that we are praying that over Lori and father for her daughter-in-law's mother we just pray for Susan we just pray father God that any pain that she might have you will take it away that Lord as they have not gotten good news about Susan I just pray that Lord that they will see that Faith is what we do. Faith is believing in what we do not see. And I just pray that, that they will believe that you can take care of this, Lord. That the doctors say, there's nothing we can do. You are the great physician. There's always something that can be done because you are the great physician and nothing is impossible with you. So we just pray for that family today that you will give them your peace, your peace to path this all understanding and that you will walk them through this. And Lord, carry them, I pray. And Lord, I do pray now in Jesus' name for Deetra. As Deetra is going through a new treatment, Lord, give her doctors the wisdom. Give them the discernment to know whether this treatment is working. I pray, Father God, that you will strengthen Deetra through this new treatment and that this treatment will work for her and that she will be completely healed in Jesus' name. For nothing is impossible with you, Lord. I keep saying that, but nothing is impossible with you. And we just pray that you will be with Deetra. Give her your strength and your energy and be with her today in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now for all of us that have diabetes issues. Father, I pray for Keith, Penny, Jeff, Jim, me, Sonia, Colleen. I just pray, Father God, for all of us that are having diabetes issues, even those who do not 
have not mentioned it, but want to be included in this prayer because they are agreeing me, me in prayer for themselves. I just pray, Father God, that you will bring our blood sugars into submission, that our A1Cs will come down, that our blood sugar numbers will be perfect for the time that we're testing, that if we're testing before dinner, after dinner, before lunch, before after lunch, before breakfast, after breakfast, in between, after a snack, whatever, whenever we're testing, Lord, that our blood sugar numbers will be normal in Jesus name. And Lord, I am also praying now for Tammy, my love. Lord, I think of her, especially today as she is going for a special test today. I just pray and we're going to do a special prayer later. I know, but I want to pray for her as well in this prayer. I just pray, Father God, that you'll just be with her today, that you will go with her in that test, that as she has the ultrasound done, that you, that it will go smoothly, that that everything will go well, and that if there's something wrong, they will find it, and that they will be able to correct it in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just pray that you will bless her and be with her today. And I just pray, Father God, for her vision, that you will give Tammy, my love, clear vision, and that you will just be with her as she gets ready for her eye shots. That as she goes for eye shots, that you will go before her. That it will go smoothly. She will not have to wait a long time. That the eye drops will not burn. And that she will have no side effects. And that she will walk in out of that office with clearer vision than she walked in. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will be with all of us today who have mental health issues. I pray, Father God, for anybody who has DID. For anyone who has depression, anxiety, worry, fear, PTSD, bipolar, anything, schizophrenia, anything, Father God, anything, anybody who is agreeing with me in prayer right now, I come against anything that's coming against them in Jesus' name. Anybody who wants to be included in this prayer, but whose name I will not mention, but wants to be included, is agreeing with me in prayer for themselves. I just come against everything in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are coming against everything. Give us your peace, your peace, the path to understanding. Get, clear our minds. Give us clear minds with your peace and your joy, wrap your loving arms around us. Lord, I pray this for Anne, for Mandy, for Anne Marie, for Susie, for Becca, for Jessica, for, for Kiki Ann, for Deborah, for Donna, for Gina, for Travis, for David, for Stephanie, for me, for Travis, for anybody else, Kavita, for anybody else I have not mentioned, but wants to be included in this prayer, them as well, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now that as we get into your word today, that you will bless this time we have with you today, that you will open up the eyes of our hearts, our ears and our minds, that we may hear you, know you, and see you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. He kept my Bible open to Luke 8, 15 today, guys. So, okay, guys. Now. We're going to move over here and we are going to do the Bible study. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, we are doing Experiencing Spiritual Intimacy by Krista Kind. Um, and we are on chapter 10, which is fruit. And the, the, the main verses for this, I haven't read it for a while, so I'm going to. It's, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law Gen uh, galatians 5 22 and 23 that is the new king james version now my bible just so you all know who are just joining us for the first time is a king james version so today's today we are going to look at luke 8 15 now here in luke 8 15 it lists the characteristics jesus Jesus gave the characteristics of a fruitful heart. The characteristics that are conducive to fruitfulness. In other words, the characteristics of a fruitful heart that are con a heart that is conducive to fruitfulness are listed in Luke 8:15. So, we're going to start that. Sorry guys, I'm going to put this here so that I don't lose that. Okay. Luke 8:15. But that on the good ground are they, which is an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. So we're going to read this again. Luke 8, 15. But that on the good ground are they, which in 
an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Okay, guys. Now, here's what it says. The characteristics of a heart that are conducive to fruitfulness are what? What was just in Luke 8, 15? These are the characteristics that Jesus said make up the fruitful heart. Okay? Here it goes. The characteristics of a fruitful heart are honesty, being on good ground. Okay? What are we going to put there? Okay? It's Honesty, being on good ground, hearing the word, and keeping it. Which means obeying it. Being obedient. Okay, so basically in this verse, we find a simple list. Okay, this is the simple list we find. And it's a simple list of qualities. Okay, a simple list of qualities that characterize a heart that's ready to flourish is... Listening to the word. Listening. A noble. Being noble. Good. And here's one that, that, that. And patient. Listening, noble, good, and patient. Okay, what's more, the verse says that those people who both hear the word and keep it. So, these people who listen and are noble, good, and patient, not only hear the word, but they keep it, which means they're obedient. I just said it. it means they're obedient. Okay? Now, this means that a heart that's fruitful follows through with what they learn. They do the right thing. They put it into practice. It's what we know we should do. Basically, we do what we know we should do. Seriously. That's as simple as that. You know, it's simple. It's the simple, it's the characteristics of a being, basically, being obedient to the word. That's how you're fruitful. You're obedient to the word. You follow through. You put to practice what you're learning. That's why we can't put our spiritual lives on the back burner. That's why we have to keep all the distractions, basically, we have to put them aside and we have to say, I can't let you distract me. I can't let this distract me. I've got to do the right thing. And that is be in the word and put it into practice. So that is today's lesson. And, you know, there is a saying that Nicole Johnson had. And um, I'm probably not going to read that though. I might. This is from Nicole Johnson, the saying, God wastes nothing, not our joys, not our sorrows, nothing. God doesn't waste anything in our lives. What does the Bible say in Romans 8, 28? For all things work good, for all things work together for the good of those that love God and a card called according to his purpose. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of got a little tongue tied there, didn't I? But um, God doesn't waste anything in our lives. You know, I always say that, you know, I, I've started saying that I never saw this before. And as I grew, and as I grew stronger in my faith, the one thing that I learned was God is not wasting what happened to me as a child. Um, he's not wasting the abuse that happened to me as a child. And he's not wasting the fact that, you know, he doesn't want me to waste that. <clears throat> Believe it or not, even the bad stuff. 
God doesn't waste it in our lives. He uses it. He uses it to make us grow. To help us grow. And so, I just, to help us bear fruit. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to do this and I will be right back with some babies. I'm back and with babies. I got my babies. I got my girls with me today. Just to show you whom I have with me. I have Miss Hannah. I have Hannah Ruth and Olivia Suzanne. Um, they are wearing outfits and they are here to do... They're wearing outfits for Wild Wednesday, hosted by Penny and Keith over at Prayful Reborns. Plus, we're going to do something for Wild Wednesday, Olivia and I. Um, I just wanted to show you Hannah really quick what she's wearing, and then I'm going to put her back in the bouncer, and then Olivia and I are going to play. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay, Miss Hannah is in, and I just want you newborn um, overalls with flowers, as you can see. But the wild part, now she has on a white um, a white onesie with pink trim around it. You can't see the pink trim, but um, that's a just one you too, I think, that Annie Tammy sent us. So that actually is from Annie Tammy. Now we have her socks. Oh, yeah, and I do have an update on Tammy, guys. Well, I had you on pause. I listened to her DM. Um, have elephants on them. But anyway, and she has in a pink bow in her hair. I know. I try to show you guys everything, but it doesn't always work. But she has elephants on her socks. So, that is the Wild Wednesday part right there. Actually, the Wild Wednesday part is what Olivia and I are about to do. That's the Wild Wild Wednesday part. The Wild Wild Wednesday. We're going to do some Wild Wild thing. Of course, I thought I'd get Jeremiah to be a wild thing, but that isn't going to work. But anyway, guys, I'm going to update you on Tammy quick. We are not going to do the special prayer time for her because she is home already. Um, she said it went well. I'm just giving you guys a quick update before Olivia and I do our thing. She is doing well. She is home. Um, she said that all went well. And that we can thank God for that. So we can thank God that all went well. So we're not going to have a special prayer time after all, guys, just to tell you. Um, I listened to her DM while I was putting the stuff away. Because you guys don't know this, but when I put you on pause, I actually put the stuff away. Okay, let me put you on pause again and just put, or let you look at. Miss Olivia is there. Right, Olivia? What do you want to do? Mama, I want to play with the toy. Okay, we're going to play with the toy. Hold on. Let me put your sister up in her bouncer. And then you and I are going to play with a toy. Okay, Olivia and I are going to play with a toy. Now, as you notice, Mariah is not out here today. But I'm going to show you. Olivia is wearing that same outfit that she had on a couple weeks ago. I put it back, her back in it. Um, it's got the flowers on it right there and the feet. I thought this was the warmest outfit I could find for her. Um, it's not too cold. It's, it's kind of warming up here, but it's still the fact that, you know, it's still cold. I still think it's cold. We are going to do a wild music time. Could we do this? Can we do this, guys? Let me see if I can get this to go down. I don't want to, like, mess with this too much here. Okay. Now, Olivia and I are going to do a wild music time. Okay. Now. Try to keep up with it, Olivia. You see, the whole thing of this is to try to keep up with this. Hold on, guys. I'll turn it off, and then I will turn it back on. That way you guys can see this and see Olivia doing it. I want you guys to see Olivia doing this. Okay. Uh-oh, she has to try to keep up with the lights. Can you guys see the lights on this thing? Here, I'll see if I can't keep up with the lights here. Oh, 
Oh boy. This is wild, guys, because she has to keep up with the lights, you know? The whole purpose of this. Mama, this is hard. Okay. Let's see if you can keep up with this. This is wild. Can you guys see this? I want you guys to see this. Let me see if I can move this so that you guys can actually see the, the lights. Okay, here it goes. Now you guys can see the lights. I've been trying to get it so that you guys can see the lights. She's trying to practice, guys. Mama, this is hard. Man, this is wild. Man, I can't keep up with this. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I think Olivia's had enough. I think she's spent now. I know I am. Are you spent now, sweetheart? Yes, Mama. That was my wild well Wednesday. Hosted by Auntie Penny and Uncle Keith over at Playful Reborns. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. So, anyway, guys. That was our wild Wednesday our Wild Wednesday music time. Um, I was having a hard time keeping up too. What the object is, is that you have to keep up with the lights on here. And it's really hard. So I thought that would be a cute Wild Wednesday. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the arc. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out for this Wild Music time. Have a blessed and wonderful day, guys. Bye.